Hi, this is Muckers 71 and welcome to my channel. Doing another video, this time free fishing, free parking again on the River Thames at Chertsey. I'll be doing a little bit of Liam in the next video coming up, uh, but this is the first time I've been able to get out after the 3rd of June when I broke my leg and my ankle and my foot. Um, so yes, here we go. I'll take you on the tour down the river. There's a bit of free parking you've just seen then. Um, plenty of good fishing off the bridge here both sides you've got a uh, Chertsey camping and caravan club uh, club site you've got the weir at the top here which is actually I would say it's equal to my 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 most favorite swim on the Thames it's got to be a match with that but you do need a little dinghy from there um, you can cast just off the canoe run and um, oh some lovely barble from there uh, lots and lots of broom just to keep you busy as well but I'll be taking you down the river uh, to the right of me downstream and a little bit closer view of the upstream section just in front of me there. Now this is a car park entrance uh, on the eastern sort of so eastern I think northeast side of the bridge. Um, the access to the lock side of the fishing is just round here which I'll show you at the end of the video. But we'll go downstream first of all. The small car park just behind me, it's, uh, it is very small, you get about eight cars I think in there. There's a blue badge spot which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but it's a great little spot to launch a dinghy from, uh, a little inflatable, like a 2.4 metre inflatable tender to sort of thing. Um, it's great for getting up on the river there, there's not much flow most of the time here so it's, it's fairly safe. Uh, there's a little bit of a problem if you get too close to the weir. You don't want to get too close to the flow because uh, it will push you into the opposite bank and literally it will put you under the pontoons that are there. Um, but yeah, just a warning on that one. But I'll show you the launch spot in a second. As you saw on my left, that was uh, the walk we'll be doing in a bit. Downstream from Chertsey Bridge there. Nice bridge that is. Uh, great fishing here. Uh, I've fished from the campsite as well. I'll show you a little spot that I cast to a bit later on in the video uh, from the campsite. Uh, directly from the campsite actually. Um, that's the swim that you can launch in. Uh, and just here in front of me is, is a nice double swim, obviously straight in front of the car park. This is a really nice spot on the River Thames. Uh, it's renowned for its big roach and there's some big carp that lurk around here as well, especially in these sort of wider areas. It's quite a sandy bottom, um, but it's a uh, very, very good, renowned, like I say, for roach. It sweeps round to the left in a long bend and you want to sort of be halfway to two thirds of the way across, really, if you're going to be casting from this bank. Uh, there is fishing on the opposite bank, which I'll show you some information on in a bit. Uh, but there's the um, the launching area, which is quite nice. It's got a metal post in the water, which is a bit of a shame. But, um, you know, you can get around that with your dinghy. Uh, no problems at all. It's uh, September 2022 and we're in the middle of quite a bad drought at the moment. The river levels here, they, they're not as accurate at the moment as um, they would be in normal conditions. Um, especially up Laham, just to the right of me, the next stretch that I'll be doing in my next video. Um, there's some overhanging trees in that area that's just uh, it's awesome, absolutely awesome for uh, small jig head fishing, that type of thing. Um, it's a drop shotting as well that's another good one uh, up that end uh, you've got big overhanging trees some lovely perch underneath those but i'll show you them in my next video Now the parking situation around here has been a bit rough uh, the last few years as you can see all these new housing developments by the river there. Well you used to be able to get access to the river along there, there was parking there before they built all that and made it private so obviously <laughs> uh, thumbs down again for the poor old angler. Um, 
what with that and the council's blocking off parking everywhere they've done it on the Laham stretch um, which I'll show you later but um, you can still get through that that's not a problem um, but yeah so a bit disappointing but um, you can still get some good fishing from this bank uh, very good roach fishing now on the opposite bank uh, just a bit further on to my left there's a couple of spots that I think are available for fishing uh, Chertsey Meads um, <coughs> excuse me Chertsey Meads Car Park A and Car Park B so there's two access points uh, I'm always seeing people fishing from the opposite bank there I'll point them out to you in a bit when we come across them but um, I'm going to do a little bit of research on it and I'll do a video on that spot in the near future hopefully Now a lot of these swims are quite shallow in front, they're like shallow sandbars, uh, being on the inside of a bend, a long long sweeping bend it's picked up all the sand and silt in front so it's quite shallow in front so just, just you know put that in the back of your mind. This is looking back towards the last swim we were in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my usual, uh, put some music on in the background. Can't really tell you much more about this, this spot other than it's good for carp. Um, uh, well, good for carp, you know, it's, the Thames is hard at the moment. Um, and it has been for quite a, the last few years really, I would say. I've already mentioned about the roach fishing. Uh, there's the odd barbel caught here below the bridge, uh, but many more caught, well, many more, more caught, caught really, I would imagine, at the top. That's where I seem to get the most, um, or have had over the years. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with some music, um, and I'll speak to you in a little bit just for the end of the video to fill you in on another few bits.
there is actually a car park about 100 metres uh, to the east from the bridge that's a pay parking, I think. Uh, but it's a long walk across the fields to get to the river. But if you have to, you know, that is one you can maybe use. So, like I said earlier, this is one of my favourite spots for Barble, really, Chertsey. Um, this is where I cast normally when I'm fishing from the Camping and Caravan Club. I normally fish it at night. Um, from there, from the steps, uh, you'll see the steps opposite, just there. Uh, it's quite a chuck, but uh, it's worth doing with fishy baits, uh, fishy boilies, carp tactics, and uh, fishy, grout, uh, fishy paste, sticky paste around the hook and the bait and the weight. Uh, covering it about a walnut size uh, don't be scared to cover the boilie and uh, etc completely the hook and everything and uh, cast around just a bit here and there you know 30 minutes in one spot 30 minutes in another spot um, but I do like it under the bridge uh, under the second span there it's not under it sorry it's about 20 yards upstream or so maybe 20 30 yards upstream uh, but uh, I've had the odd bubble from there but my real favorite spots just in front of me up in the weir there that's just well, you know, it's just lovely. Uh, the barbel I've had out of there is amazing. The bream, but like I said earlier again, uh, a little dinghy launched from the first car park there and uh, away you go, you know. Uh, you have to pay for a ticket for the day or three days, I think it is, like a river licence. But um, it's not too much money. I think you can get it from the lock in front of me there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, um, this is the end of the fishing. So pretty much I'll come to the lock in a second. This is the last swim before the fishing access is stopped. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, I'll do one on Liam, uh, which will be my next video, hopefully, uh, fairly shortly. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe if you found it interesting. I've got plenty more in my playlist already. Uh, plenty more vids on free fishing and uh, good access on the River Thames. Some amazing access. Um, plenty more information coming up in the near future, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so uh, I've got a bit of gaming on my channel. Uh, a little bit of, um, what have we got, a bit of drone flying. Plenty of fishing, like I say. I've uh, got a bit of sea fishing as well which I quite enjoy, go out with the lads. That's um, proper funny though, I mean, oh, blimey. That's, uh, yeah, that's naughty that is. Uh, but if you want to check it out, just click on my icon with a picture of me holding a fish and go into my playlist. And uh, thank you very much for watching.